is your kid Sam? What are you up to? I'm just playing with a Sorry, rattles and rainbow are both noisy. So, did you know that snakes are reptiles? I did know that, and reptiles are pretty cool, right? Yeah, they think so too. That's why they're so noisy. Um, I'm enjoying playing with my little cuties snakes, but I'd rather go out and find some real ones. Well, that sounds like we're going to have to go out for another adventure. A reptile adventure? Come on, Sneakies, let's go slither. Hi, we're the Nature Nerds. My name is Carly, and this is Adventure Kid Sam. Hi, I'm Adventure Kid Sam. This show is all about nature and getting outside. And today's episode just so happens to be about... Reptiles. reptiles! Now, some people think that reptiles are pretty cool, and I think that too. Now, they are vertebrates, which means they have a spine or a backbone, and they cannot make their own heat, so that's called cold-blooded. So you will find them basking out on, sun on sunny places where there's rocks, and um, they're also, they, ha they can breathe air, they breathe air, and um, they have well, you will find them with scales or bony plates down their backs. Now, reptiles are really cool, and the ones we want to check out today, for example, would be turtles, snakes, or lizards. We are going to challenge you to put them back, though, after you found them, because we need to re return them to their proper habitats. But that means we're going to have to go on another adventure. What do you think, Adventure Kid Sam? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Hey nature nerds, look, this is a painted turtle. It's um found it's a native. It's and it's found throughout um North America. And um they actually bask in the sun. And because they're reptiles, um they do that so that they can get heat. And so the reason they're called the painting turtle because it looks like someone took paint and like drew on the sides. And um, they're very, very old. They've been on planet Earth for millions of years. Um, well. Let me see real quick. Nice. That's it. It's beautiful. This is a decays brown snake. It's um, a native and it's a sometimes even called a brown snake. Um, so they are a little. This one's just a baby because I knew that because they get about 12 inches long when they're um, when they're grown up. So uh, they are cute. They're not venomous. They spend most of their time underground or over or undercover, and the females don't actually lay eggs. They actually um, let, lay the babies. So, um, just a reminder, make sure you release things whenever you're done with it. Hey, nature nerds, look what I have in my arms. It's called a corn snake. It's a native, and it's not venomous. And this is Aline, Afina. Um, she's a pet, but you can find these out in the wild. They're not venomous, and instead of using venom to kill their, to, um, kill their prey, they squeeze really hard. You can find these out in the wild, but this one is a pet. Isn't she beautiful? Hey, nature nerds, look! It's called an eastern box turtle. It's a native around here, and... It has a hinge on the bottom which allows them to close up all the way and it, it's an omnivore which means it eats um, plants and meat and and so this one and they live a really long time but this one can't really close up in a shell because how it was treated so um someone found them out in the wild and kept them in a very small tank with not the 
right proper food or water. And so it's um it had messed up feet and it has a little shell so it can't close in. And so um what the point is that you should leave turtles there if you find them. And look at this, look at the difference between this one. This one is Ralphie and he had a good, he, he had a um, good life. So, he bites, but look, look how, look at the difference between him and, and Shelly. See how Shelly has like a lure shell? And that's what a male turtle is supposed to look like. They're both males. And this one's name is Shelly. So I hope you have fun learning about him. For the first time ever on Nature Nerds, we have a really special guest. This is Grandpa Carl. And Grandpa Carl is a wildlife biologist. And he's here to show you something really cool that he caught today. Hey, Nature Nerds. I've got an interesting critter here for you today. Come and take a look. This is called a five line skink. And you can see how it gets its name from the five lines coming back across the body towards the tail. The females of this species here will usually retain those uh, stripes throughout its life. The males will turn dark brown, or kind of a brown or an olive, and sometimes with a little bit of orange on its jaws. These get about five to eight inches long, and they're actually a lizard. And you'll find them around moist areas and stone walls and under porches and that sort of thing there where they look for spiders and little invertebrates and insects and they just love those. This is a neat little critter. And the tail often is a kind of a blue. It's a pretty little lizard called a five line skink. We all have a nature nerd inside of us. All you have to do to begin is get outside and learn about nature. I hope that you love reptiles because of this video. Um, I love them too. We really hope you had fun and learned a lot on this episode about reptiles. We also hope that it inspired you to get outside, go on an adventure, and see what you can find on your own. Make sure you let us know. You can type it in the comments section or send us a little message because we want to know what you're finding out there. Oh, and make sure you hit the little red subscribe button on your screen to get more Nationers. See you next time. Bye.